Hello everyone and welcome to the second Goose V2 video. This video is about the main landing gear unit. I will show you some of my design work and how to build it. Let's check the design in Rhino. I start with uh, the laser cut plywood parts. This is the landing gear box. It's all 3 mm poplar ply. Few things are important when building this. The first one I want to show you is this one. This part can be mounted in the wrong way. I left the, the tabs on each side the same. What I really should have done was make it one tab on this side and two on that side. So it will be foolproof. But just to show you guys, I mounted this one in the wrong way. And you see it extends here. And it's too short there. So if you build it and you have it like this, it's in the wrong way. This is how it should be. You see the difference? Alright. Another thing is that on the edges where these parts meet each other, you need to carve a beveled edge to make them fit. These are the doublers for the where the screws for the landing gear straps go in. They're here also and also for the screws for the uh, retract servo. I found the best way to uh, glue them is just to um, put the screws in position from this side. Let them stick out a little bit so you can um, use the screws as uh, position pins. Then glue the doublers in place. Retract unit. It's operated with a high tech servo. Two M2 pushrods with ball links and a nylon M4 steering arm. It just drives the 4 mm upper part. It moves in a brass tube. Then there are the 3D printed parts. The laser cut axle member parts. You need to take care when building them so you don't get them twisted. Pre-bent suspension arms are also included in the kit. And as you can see here, I left the gear strip strips off, off. So you can see the brass bushings. These need to be made from a brass tube. You can cut it with a multi-tool. Well, that's about it on the design. Let's show how it moves in another CAD program called Fusion G360. Well, this is the same landing gear unit designed in Rido, but I imported it in Fusion 360. A really cool feature of Fusion 360 is that, that you can uh, move things. It's a feature called Motion Studies. You need to assign all the hinge, uh, hinge points, etc. But it works. Here you can see an animation of the landing gear. So now we have a look at the cat work. I think it's time to start actually building it. So all the sub-assemblies for the Goose V2 main landing gear unit are built. But before I assemble the main landing gear unit itself, I want to go over a few things. The building starts by making these retract units. They're made using the 3D printed parts, some laser cut parts, the, the pre-bent landing gear wires supplied with the kit and some other hardware. I found it to be a bit difficult um, to get this new wire in the 3D printed part. The same goes for the lower part, there's a carbon fiber uh, rod in it and they, they didn't really fit, so I had to enlarge it with a drill. Then it went fine. And also for the hinge, it, it just needs a little bit work, sanding and carving uh, to make it operate very smooth and without any binding. You want this moving without any friction. Before I um, 
glued the actual member parts together. I gave the uh, the land the steel parts a coat of corrosion X. This really helps um, to keep it from rusting. Also, all the holes are hardened with thin CA. And there's one thing I want to really show is it's necessary that this is straight. It's very easy uh, to get them twisted. And if you do that, the axle is not straight and it's like that. It will be maybe like this. And then the wheels are not tracking straight and you have many problems. The Dubro wheels. The specs are that this hole should be 5 mm, but I found out it is a little smaller. So, like the 3D printed parts, I had to enlarge it with a drill. The retract box. This is all made from 3 mm laser cut plywood. It goes together very easy. It's like Lego for grown ups. All the holes for the gear straps and the folding arm and the servo are laser cut so you don't get to screw up the landing gear geometry. The holes are nice but I needed to thread them. Um, I, could, I did it by screwing in uh, the screws then taking out again and again harden it with thin CA. Same goes for the, for the servo screw holes. For these. I designed it for using a high-tech HS75 retract servo and it fits just perfect. You see, that's one of the benefits of laser cutting and designing by a CAD system. These are all the parts necessary to build the main landing gear unit, the first phase of building the Goose V2. Let's have a closer look. These are the retract units themselves, with the 3D printed parts and the pre-bent landing gear wires. Also there are the Dubro gear straps with their screws. 4mm nylon steering arms, two ball links M2. Hi-Tech HS75BB retract servo, Dubro 4 inch light white wheels, M2 push rods, and the build retract box from the laser cut plywood. So this is the retract installed and the linkage system set up. A few things I want to mention is that when the retract is in this position, it's retracted. The steering, arm, the, the steering arms need to be like this. If they extend all the way to horizontal, they probably will go further than the edge of the former. And this is where the fuselage sides will be. So that way you will destroy the fuselage when you have installed it. When setting up this linkage, it's the best to manually put the retracts in the extended position. And then fix everything and it should be okay.